Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I have been making this lovely little postcard envelope. Um, now I've been using, obviously it's called postcard envelope because I've been using my postcards to make it. And I think it looks really, really nice and I've used this lovely lace from my lace dress which is beautiful. Um, and some of my rose trim which I haven't used for a long time. So I've got a little pocket here which I'm going to pull out and this was one postcard like that so all as I did was cut it in half um, I made a little pocket and a little tag to go in there and for the closure I've done the same here I've made a little um, pocket and the postcard which I've just cut in half um, and popped that in there and used that as the closure so this is just the postcard on the front um, and we've got like a little envelope when you put that down um, that goes into the pocket um, and holds down this lovely flap like that so I'm just going to hold it under there and put it in properly there we go that's better um, and then on the back I have got another postcard and a postcard inside I've cut this one down a little bit just so it fits inside that postcard and then I've got a little postcard and a little postcard which I've just caught the, cut the um, corners off to make the little tag um, and I've just used some of my lovely papers so I just think that's really really lovely and really simple to do um, so it's lots of little bits going on lots of little pockets and lots of journaling space so I thought I'd show you how to do that nice and simple so I've got some sort of like odd bits of paper from my um, digital so I've got that and then I've got that on the back so these ones I must have been using for something. I have got my postcards. Now my postcards come in four different sizes. So you've got the mini minis. Um, you've got the, um, they're, yeah, four different sizes. So you've got this size and then you've got this size and then you've got the bigger ones. So this kit is really, really lovely. So shall we just take the first one? Let's just take this first one. Let's just pop these ones out of the way for a minute I like this one because I like the um, purple stamp on there and then I've got some of my words and phrases there so let's just stick that on there so let's take this I'm taking a postcard and then what I want to do I just want to take a piece that's the same length as that now let me just get a pencil the same let's just mark that off and then I'm going to move all my little bits and pieces out of the way so that I can get my um, Fiskars cutter and then just chop this to the right length. There we go. Okay, so that's the right length. So what I want to do, shall I have that? I'll have this on the inside, I think, and then that on the outside. So what I want to do, I just want to sort of like fold that over a little bit, just the top, just to make like the um, flap of the envelope. So that will fold over. We don't want that right up to the top. We want to leave a little bit just so it closes, just use half an inch or something like that. And then what I'm going to do is take my pencil, just, oopsie daisy, just mark on that bit. And then cut that piece off. So I'm going to measure this for you so you can see how big it is. So that's just under six inches or 15 centimeters by just under six five and a half inches or just under 14 centimeters so there you go and that's the size of the postcards so then that just oh, i won't cut it very straight have i but that's okay maybe i could cut just a fraction off let's just cut a little bit do you think i should there we go Sometimes they don't quite cut the little bits off, but that did a good job. 
So there we go. So that will sit on there like that nicely. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut a little notch out of here. So I've got my um, little round um, punch. So I'm just going to sort of eyeball that a little bit. It's a little off, but it doesn't matter. Oopsie daisy. So let's just ink this up. Like this. I haven't used these postcards for ages and I was having a little sort out of my drawers and found them so I thought I would quickly have a go at making some little envelope with them because like I said in my other video I want to do some little shabby bits um, and I thought this was perfect so shall we just round the corners on here and because it's sort of like a little bit eclectic with the papers um, I think it looks really nice so you can just mix and match so if you've got any sort of like odd papers that you haven't used for ages in your stash you can make some nice little um, envelopes you probably got these postcards as well anyway but you don't have to use the postcards you can use anything any of your odd bits of paper that you've got digital kits that you have okay so that's right. let's just bend that over this way ink that up so we've got some ink on the inside of it there we go that will do for now so I did sew around this but you don't have to so I'm going to just stick that on and that just folds down like that so you can just see the postcard bit on there which looks nice so just going to glue around this bit I won't sew this one I will just glue around it just to show you don't need to sew everything but if you are a sewer and you've got a lovely sewing machine or an old sewing machine you can just whiz around the outside of it like that let's just stick this down lovely and then we just push that down so what shall we do should we do it a little bit different to the other one now I've got one of these I could put actually I could put the whole postcard on this one couldn't I and then have a postcard this way and that just holds that down and then we could just decorate this side couldn't we I think that's maybe what we'll do let's use this one let's just take a little notch out of here just to make it look like a little pocket a little bit of ink and then we can just embellish it with some little bits of a fabric there we go shall we use this one or shall we have a fancy one I quite like this one now what I'm going to do is just just snip the corners just to make it look oh, it's not very taggy is it a bit lopsided it's okay there we go. a little bit of ink around there like that I'm going to put that up quite close so then that can just stick in there and that just holds the envelope down perfect a little bit of glue on here just around the outside now I've just got some tacky glue in there so let's just pop that like that. Is that level? As long as it's, it needs to be quite high up, just so you've got enough of the.
tag to hold that closed. There we go. Lovely. So what shall we pop on the edges of this one? Or shall I... Oops, don't unstick. Shall we stick a little postcard on the back first? Okay. Probably even stick. Oh no, I don't want a too big a one because it will cover up all of this lovely bits, won't it? Shall we just have... Shall I pop this one on? Because that sort of goes with the background, doesn't it? Let's cut a little notch out. The light's a bit funny in my room at the moment. I had a little bit of a move about and it seemed to make the light funny, move things from my window. So um, I think it's a little bit, I don't know what's the matter with it. Maybe it's a bit too bright. Seems to make a bit, things look a bit of a funny colour for some reason. Let's just stick that on there, like that, lovely, so that looks like it should be on there anyway, doesn't it? And then we can just pop, just pop a couple of these ones in there, couldn't we? Just like that, should we just ink them up a little bit? So these are a nice size, you can, enough to sort of like journal on the back. Yes, just a little bit of inking and again you can pop anything on there on the front I must get out some of my lovely um, embellishments as well because I haven't used those for a long time my little cluster embellishment thingy me jiggies I'll get out like that I love that so Let's get our little itty bitty ones out. These are gorgeous, aren't they? I'm loving these. So let's just take two. I'm going to pop the little blue one because these can go whichever way and they make extra little pockets which look lovely. Maybe I'll pop a little bit of fabric. Oops, let's just... Oh no, I won't cut a little notch in there let's just stick that down let's just stick it I like it on a sort of angle like this glue's not coming out very well see Daisy let's stick you there like that And then you can just slot in there like a little tag or a little postcard. So there we go. Love it. Now, let's just see. I've got some of my little bits of lace on here. Shall I cut this little piece off? I think this lace is going to last me a very, very long time. Oopsie daisy. Shall we just stick a little bit? I need some some um, three in one on this one really let's pop a little bit on there stick it down I'm going to add another little bit just on top I think let's just double it up a little bit pop that on look at that lovely very simple, um, but really lovely, isn't it? I do like that. So let's do the front. What shall we have? If this goes in here, like that, I could pop something on there. Maybe I will pop just a few of these little roses on there, shall we? Just snip these off. 
we have a little bit of this oopsie daisy got a bit of grungy stuff a bit of grungy fabric pop it on there like that oops stringy stick that on and then pop these little roses So these are the things where if you've got like little tiny bits of fabric all your little scraps will work well. And let's just pop the U on there. So that's the top of our tag. So that sort of like decorates the middle bit, doesn't it? Lovely. I want to use these. So what should we do? Should we just pop little corner bits? Should we just cut this off like that? Will that work? There we go. Just a little bit's in the corner. So what should we do with that? It's that piece, I think. Oh, that little bit's a bit too big. I want this little bit over here. Just so it's like a little petal. Whoops. Like that lovely let's pop a little bit of glue on stick that down now you can sew around this still even though we've made it it's still able to sew around if you need to love them so shall we stick a little bit of this on here why not I do like them oops there we go lovely I'm going to sort of double this up let's chop this little piece off A bit of glue. Put that there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And of course, let's just get a little bit of this out again. Just pop that there. Let's just cut, cut that there. A little bit of glue along there. Oopsie daisy. lovely look at that doesn't that look lovely so you've got your lovely little pocket there and you can open that up pop whatever you like in there pop that in as the little closure and then on the back shall we pop we'll have to pop a little bit of rose on there won't we oh gosh stand you up i think just that looks better doesn't it just to finish that off on the back a little bit of glue. Oh gosh, it's gone a bit gloopy. Pop that on there. Perfect. That's perfect, isn't it? So that wasn't too bad. That was quite quick to do, wasn't it? Love it. Absolutely love it. So shall we make another one quick? Because I like popping these little pockets on. So what did I do with the other one? Oh, there it is. So look, aren't they lovely? I love them. Let's pop those over there. What shall we use? Shall I use a little bit of this one? Because I do like this paper. And then it's got this lovely blue. Um, I can't remember what kit that's from now. But I will pop it in the um, under the video what the kits that I'm using anyway. Um, because sometimes it's like oh I like that bit of paper which looks nice so let's take this one let's have which one did we use let's just have a bigger one obviously we need should we have this one what's underneath that's lovely 
So let's just mark this off and cut that like there. Cut this down. So I might just a little bit bigger. Let's just we have that on the outside or the inside I think that should be on the inside so let's just fold a little flap down like that pop that in like that and then I think we will just chop it just there oh where is it oh there it is I need to just cut a tiny, tiny bit of this off. I think it was just... There we go. Lift that up. That fits perfect. Let's cut a little notch out of here. So, what do you think? So, that looks like the middle. I think so roughly isn't it a little bit more ink shall we add a few more pockets shall we add a few more um postcards to this one i think Let's just ink around the edge just to get rid of those little white marks and we will just do this these are quite nice actually because you could make lots of these if you've got lots of little bits of um well not little bits but pieces of off cuts of your digital kit you can make a nice um uh, bunch of um envelopes couldn't you to pop in your stash just go down look i get myself stuck with all these little glue bits Well, I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Um, we have had lots and lots of rain here in Portugal, which is fabulous. Um, but it's very unusual for June to have rain. So, but all our plants are loving it, absolutely loving it. So, but it's made it very, very humid. So it's very hot and humid. We can actually get the washing out today, which is good. Look how quickly these dry up on here. Okay, a little bit of glue. Go. Put that down. I think these will go in my stash for making a um, shabby journal because these will work really, really well. I think it will probably be more like a shabby eclectic journal, won't it? Oh, doesn't that look nice? I do like that. That's lovely. There we go. Super. Right. Let's have a look. We need some of the smaller ones. Now I've just gone and muddled all of my postcards up. What shall we have? That one's the same, so we don't need that. We could probably put this one on the back. Or well, should we have a bigger one? Should we put this? So these they sort of like match in. I'm going to put and I'll put that over the side. No, I don't want them to match like that. Right, let's pop a little bit of a notch in there. Shall we have a little notch in this one? Sort of the middle. I like these postcards, I forgot. 
I forgot all about them. Must go back and have a look at my kits and start using some of them again. Make some lovely embellishment things. So there we go. I'm going to stick that on there and that on there. And then we can have little postcards. Okay, let's stick this one on. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing good for time. Should we have that just there? If you're going to sew them, you could put that right on the edge and then you could actually sew around it as well. Um, so it just sort of like catches it. Let's pop this one here. Lovely. Oopsie, did I just move that? Okay, let's pop those little bits here. Should we decorate the back of it? With a little bit of this. Could go over there, couldn't it? Let's just cut a piece off. Have that like that, shall we? Where's my glue? Oops, I forgot to pop this upside down. There we go. Lovely. Scrunch it up a little bit. So I pop some of my little roses so they all sort of like match in together then, won't they? love them so what should we pop into the pocket let's have a look we've got a new little here we go should we have a little one like that i think i'm gonna just just chop the ends up edges let's make this one into a little tag little tag shape Lovely. What can we pop on the top of that? Should we have a little bit of this? That's my glue. Pull that out a little bit. So we don't stick everything together. Stick that so it pops up just a little bit. Should we have these three like that? There we go. Pop you on there. Lovely. That looks nice, doesn't it? So you stick down nicely. Love them. What should we pop in this one then? So if we wanted to pop it this way, I'm going to have to cut it down just a little bit. Unless I just pop some of these in there for now. That's better, isn't it? Let's go for these ones. There we go. Look at that. That's so pretty. So, what, what shall we do on here? Let's put... I'm going to put the biggest one on here, shall I? No, I think I will just pop that on. I'm going to cut this down. Where's my, where's my little one here? Let's cut that down through the middle. I should have cut it a little bit bigger, really, shouldn't I? Cut 
a little bit off there so that I don't put too much glue in there it will fit in like a little tag I don't think I'll cut it taggy I think I'll just pop it in like this unless I back it let's have a look so let's just make a little notch in here you can sew things onto this before you stick it down stick it to the back um, if you wanted to instead of sticking things down you could just sew them on there Lovely. Now what I am going to do, let's have a look. Should we put this one on there? Should I put half for one? Hmm, decisions. Let's cut this down. The same, cut this in half. little one. Let's ink this around. Make a little notch in just a tiny little one just so it matches up the others which have got little notches in. And over that lap that on there and then this one should just fit in there like that. Won't you? Lovely. A little bit of glue. Pop that on there. Ink this one. lovely so that's I like it when they're nice and layered up so make sure that's not stuck to the sides with glue perfect so now I can use one of these on here to do the embellishing on the side of it so that looks nice doesn't it Just pop it along that top just so it it's not all stuck down so then this just sort of like flaps a little bit. I'm going to turn this over a sec. I'm going to have another one because I'm quite liking that sort of a double look to it. I've got some other pop this underneath there's a very similar colour though isn't it? We pop a little of this grunginess underneath it. I don't make it too thick. I don't want to make it too thick. I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Pop that there. Do I like that underneath? I don't think so. I think it's going to make it too thick. So I'm going to pop that on top, just like this. Sorry, I hope I'm in view. Keep pulling it down. 
And because my camera's changed, I need to be sort of like in the middle a bit more. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Now, did I have any of my little rose trim left? Little bit there. Oh, I do like it. I like these. Look at that, doesn't that look pretty? I think it all sort of like matches in because it's got this lovely stamp along here. I'm going to just wrinkle some of this up along here. Doesn't that look lovely? Now I'm loving these. I think they look really nice. And that's a great little closure, isn't it? I'm loving that blue in there. I think that matches really well. So there we go, guys. That's a, another one. Look at them. I think they are gorgeous. So yes, I'm going to have to do a little bit more prettiness and stuff, aren't I, I think? Because I did enjoy doing that. So there we are. There's three beautiful postcards. Postcards. Or envelope postcards, aren't they? They are lovely. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I'll tell you what I didn't put on there was my words. That one's got joyful on, so we don't want joyful on there, do we? What else have we got? We've got smile. We've got peace. We could pop that. Oh, should we pop that down on that little bit there? Let's quickly do that, shall we? Forgot about my words on there. Love these words. Let's just stick that on there. Look at that. That fits perfect. And we could probably pop something on here. Now I've got all my words muddled up. Should we just put happiness? Let's pop a little happiness on there, on the back. These just fit wherever, don't they? Look at that, that's perfect. You could actually pop them on the little postcards as well, couldn't you? I might do that later. See what I'm going to use these for. But there we go, love it. Perfect. So there we go guys, that is the envelopes finished now I think. So there we go guys, thank you so so much for joining me. Please stay safe, take care and I will see you soon. Bye guys, bye bye.